We begin with a closer look at severe reactions from the COVID-19 vaccine. Just yesterday, we told you about the state of Idaho reporting two healthcare workers experiencing severe reactions after receiving the Pfizer vaccine. Our Katya Stepovic is tracking the story for us tonight. And Katya, how common is this? And were there any underlying factors that contributed to the reactions? Well, the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare says both of these workers have a history of developing severe reactions when getting injectable medication. Now, one of these workers is completely recovered and the other is in stable condition. But this still has a lot of people asking the question, are these vaccines really safe? This is certainly not common. It's enough that we want to take it seriously. Dr. David Pate is a retired CEO of St. Luke's and a member of Idaho's coronavirus task force. Dr. Pate says he's only aware of eight severe reactions to the Pfizer vaccine across the nation. But as he explains, all these incidents involved certain risk factors. Each of these people had a underlying reason to be concerned. They uh, most often had a history of having anaphylaxis to an injectable of some sort or a prior uh, vaccine. In these cases, Dr. Pate says it doesn't take long for symptoms to develop, typically happening within 10 minutes. You're going to feel a sense of dread, a sense of doom, something's something's definitely very wrong. Some people will have a very rapid heart rate. Some people will feel very lightheaded, like they're going to pass out. Some people will break out in a sweat. Other symptoms can include swelling of the lips or tongue, feeling flushed or burning sensations in the skin. Pate says patients with a history of severe reactions to any vaccine will be observed for 30 minutes after it's administered. People without any history are observed for 15 minutes. And if you had anaphylaxis with the first shot of the Pfizer vaccine, they're going to be at very high risk for the second shot. By the time at-risk patients get the second shot, he believes there will be recommendations for pretreatment in hopes that it would prevent another reaction. But the big question remains, what is causing them in the first place? There are now studies underway to try to figure out what are people reacting to uh, because it's not likely that they're reacting to the mRNA that that makes up these vaccines, it's likely something added to the vaccine that helps stabilize it. Current studies are comparing the ingredients in the Moderna vaccine to the Pfizer vaccine. Pate says because there have been no reported severe reactions from the Moderna vaccine, comparing the two ingredients will help find the culprit ingredient. While experts try to find the problem, Dr. Pate says severe reactions are extremely uncommon and that the pros of getting vaccinated greatly outweigh the cons. Whatever you've been complaining about, it's time to roll up your sleeve. Uh, and if you want to change this, you, know, you want to get rid of those restrictions, then you need to get the vaccine. Now, Dr. Pate says if you've developed anaphylaxis from any other vaccine in the past, it is very important to contact your doctor before getting the COVID-19 vaccine. Joe? Akacha, I'm curious, should anyone with food allergies that might experience anaphylaxis because of those be concerned about this vaccine? Well, Dr. Pate said he has yet to see anyone develop severe reactions from a food allergy. He says, again, it's really those people that get the anaphylaxis from the vaccine in particular that he's concerned about. Joe. Oh, okay, clears it up. Well, thank you very much, Katya, for that report.